Have you ever wanted to learn how to make your own plant? We're going to do just that today on Fairchild in Focus. Hi, I'm Jeff Wasileski from Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden. Today we're going to learn about air layering. Air layering is basically a type of propagation where you're cloning the parent plant. So why do we propagate using air layers? Well one, it's easy and today I'm going to show you how to do it. Two, you get a bigger plant quicker than if you grow it from seed. And three, because you're cloning the parent plant, you get to take things like pretty flowers, great fruit, nice foliage, and carry that over into the new plant. So on woody trees like this one, we have phloem or bark on the outside. On the inside, we have xylem, okay? Nutrients and water move up the tree to the leaves in the xylem. On the outside, in the phloem, things are coming down. Energy from the leaves, from photosynthesis. Okay, those little energy packets have hormones on them. And when those hormones are telling the plant to make roots. So if we take off that phloem and disrupt the flow, it'll make roots right at that spot. So you really only need three things for air layering. One, you're going to need some tin foil. That can be pre-cut or you can cut it yourself. Number two, you're gonna need a knife. Okay, you're gonna need a knife, doesn't have to be that sharp. And number three, you're gonna need some sphagnum moss. The sphagnum moss should be moist, but not soaking wet. So today we're gonna propagate this croton, and because we're using air layers, we're gonna be able to keep these beautiful leaves on the new plant. When you do an air layer, you wanna pick a branch that's kinda going straight up, and a branch that's a little bit bigger than a pencil about this size is perfect. So the first thing we want to do is create a little area to work. So we're going to break off these lower leaves like this and we're going to work right in here for our air layer. Right in there. So now we're going to start our air layer by removing the phloem because remember we're going to trick this tree into producing roots. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to score it. I'm pressing down my knife till I feel wood and then I'm spinning it around like this and connecting on the other side. Then I want to go down about an inch and a half and do the same thing. I'm pressing into the wood, coming around, scoring it all the way around. Okay, now the next thing I want to do, take my knife, draw a line between the two of those scores like this. Then I should be able to peel my phloem right off the tree. So now we just want to scrape this wood here, this xylem, just scrape it a little bit. We're removing a small layer of cells called the cambium that if we left it, it would actually make new phloem and mess up our process. Okay, the next thing we want to do is wrap this area with some sphagnum moss. Now we pre-soak the sphagnum moss, so we want to kind of squeeze it out so it's moist but not super wet. Now we want to wrap this around here tightly. Okay, it's got to be tight. Then we're going to take our tin foil and we're going to hold it in place using the tin foil. The tin foil has also got to be tight or it won't work properly. Okay, we squeeze it at the top like that and we squeeze it at the bottom and there you have your air layer. So we can actually put air layers all over this tree and make as many copies or clones as we want. We're going to leave this air layer on here for about two months. And we're doing this in the summer so things are growing. Uh, we're going to check this in about two months. We're going to peel back, just peek, looking for roots. If we see a lot of roots, we can cut this off, take it, put it in a container with good medium, and there's your new plant. So today we learned everything about air layering, from the why to the how-to. If you'd like more information on horticulture, like pruning or grafting, visit us on our YouTube channel at slash Fairchild Garden. I'm Jeff Wasileski for Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden. And remember, if you know it, you can grow it. See you next time.